All right, so listen up close. We're gonna go over a topic that's extremely important. It affects millions of people around the world, and if it's not for you, it might be for a friend, family, or loved one. What's the topic? Hypoglycemia, also known as low blood sugar. So how do we fix it? The rule of 15. Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. James E, the Fresh Pharmacist, and today we're going over hypoglycemia and some of the whack ways it can present itself when you don't have your sugars on point. Okay, so quick little recap. There's about 30 million people in the US that has diabetes and that number is constantly skyrocketing each year. It's probably someone in your family or a loved one that has it, so you're not too unfamiliar with it, but we're just gonna go over just a small part of it so we can catch you back up to speed real quick. So with diabetes, it's just your body's inability to produce insulin at the right quantities, or it's just not using the insulin that it does make efficiently. So in those cases, your blood sugars tends to skyrocket really high, which causes a lot of damage and trouble over time. We usually try to treat that with certain medications, which sometimes causes your body or your sugars to drop dramatically. That can get really dangerous really quick. Okay, for starters, how do we know if we're having a hypoglycemic episode or if our blood sugars are too low? So the first thing we always do is check your glucometer to see exactly where your blood levels are. If they're less than 70 mg per deciliter, we know that we need to start nipping this in the bud and doing it quickly before it starts to get out of hand. Okay, so you tested your blood sugar, it's less than 70. Now what? Now we're looking for symptoms. And like most diabetics, when they're having a hypoglycemic moment, oh, they're gonna let you know it. Plus, you're gonna probably see the symptoms and you're gonna know it after today. So as far as symptoms, they may vary from person to person of how they present themselves, but you'll still get a good overall idea of what to look out for. So a few of the more mild to moderate symptoms can be shakiness or tremors. Um, you might have some sweating, some headaches, a little bit of agitation, things like that can be uh, some telltale signs. So at its most severe, it can range from blurry vision, uh, severe headaches, slurring of the words, being very angry, and at the most severe, it can lead to unconsciousness, seizures, and something where we definitely don't want it to get to, coma and death. Hey yo, but it's all good, cause we're not even gonna let it get that far, cause we're gonna nip it in the bud as soon as we see the symptoms that we just learned, right? Oh, and by the way, since you're here, we're gonna have a whole diabetes series full of information and tutorials, so you're definitely gonna wanna press that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up so we can see more of this when it comes out. Okay, so back to business. So now that we know exactly what blood sugar levels we need to look out for, and then secondly, we know what symptoms to look out for, what do we do about it? That's where the rule of 15 comes into play. So what's the rule of 15? Well, the first half of the rule of 15 is to eat 15 grams or to drink 15 grams of sugar. So 15 grams of sugar can be a half a cup of orange juice, a half a cup of soda like Coca-Cola or 7-Up, a tablespoon of honey is another way you can get 15 grams of sugar, as well as five or six hard candies like a lifesaver, for example. Five or six of those will do you about 15 grams of sugar on the spot. You wanna get things that are quick acting and you don't wanna have it with anything that is fatty, like a chocolate bar or something like that. It takes a little bit longer for your body to uh, digest and absorb it. So you want something that's pure sugar and that's very quick acting. Now for the second step of the rule of 15 is now we're gonna have to sit and wait for 15 minutes while your body is absorbing those carbohydrates or the sugar that you just ate to make sure that level of the sh blood sugar goes past that 70 mark. Okay, so wait 15 minutes, then we're just gonna check your blood sugar with your glucose meter and then make sure you're above that level that you're safe. Now after the 15 minutes, you check your blood sugar again and if it's not where it needs to be over that 70 mark, well now we do it again. 15 grams of sugar, check your blood sugar. Wait 15 minutes. We get to do that three times. If after the third time it's still not above that 70 mark, then we're gonna wanna make sure that you seek the closest medical attention that you can get. Oh, and just a quick recommendation. Some people may not always have Coca-Cola or a tablespoon of honey or some lifesavers laying around the house. So there are some companies that make carbohydrates and they package it just for the rule of 15 for diabetics who need something on the go to raise their sugar levels up quick. So down below, I left a few links that you can check out. I always recommend that people always have something hanging out around the house, in their purse, in the car, at their loved one's house, that's quick, already pre-measured out, and easily accessible. When you're in these low blood sugar states, you don't have time to be measuring things out here and there. So if I can have something that I can just go to and eat or drink, you're in a lot better shape than having to look around for those different items. Okay, so you waited 15 minutes and you see your blood sugar levels are back to where they need to be over that 70 mark. What are you gonna do now? So you should plan to have a full meal or your regular meal 
after about an hour or so. But if you can't have a full meal, you should at least have a small snack that consists of carbohydrates and proteins. Okay, so now either you or your loved one is hopefully feeling better and their sugar is stabilized. But right now I want you to think back over the past four to six hours, what happened or what were you doing when your blood sugars went really low? It could be either A, you delayed or skipped a meal. Two, are you working out a little bit harder or pushing yourself a little bit more than usual? Also, is your insulin dose correctly or medication? And in that case, you'll at least want to know your diabetic pharmacist or your physician that you're having these hypoglycemic events and we're probably gonna have to adjust your medications or your insulin dosings. And now you know what symptoms to look out for as well as what blood sugar level you need to be at as well. That being the case is, like I said, we have a lot more videos coming out for diabetes and a whole host of other different medical conditions. Till then, it's your boy, Dr. James, you the Fresh Pharmacist. Peace out.